Hey, what's up, guys? So I am, like, in a total pitch, pitch black room. I turned off all the lights. I made sure that no light was bleeding in this room. <laughs> and that this room, it's totally isolated in dark. And I made sure everything is pitch black. And here I am. Here's a good example of Q8FN and what Q8FN can do. Obviously, when you're watching it from the center, if you go all the way to the left, you will notice some of that uh, bending, you know, a little bit of that vertical bending light. It's going to happen because it's still an LCD. But the local dimming here, it's done in such a good way that it's really hard. Uh, honestly, sometimes you think it's OLED. Like, th that's how good it is. And here I am. Let me press play. This is in 4K and HDR. And uh, just look how beautiful that looks, man. Believe me, it looks gazillion times better in person. It looks much, much better in person. This is in native 4K, HDR. Uh, and look at this local dimming here, man. It's just phenomenal. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, but we cannot see it. We can't see it through this camera. I understand that. But you'll just have to take my word for it because I have the TV that this is an outstanding local dimming for a TV that's LCD and it's LED backlit. All right. You know what's the best part about this TV is you don't have to worry about any, any kind of uh, burn in. Zero, zero burn in. And that's a huge benefit, my friend, huge benefit. I mean, it looks great. No matter like which angle I'll just put here, it just looks great. And everything's pitch black. Like everything's pitch black and you have yet to notice any kind of bending light. Now, is aggressive local dimming that great? Um, to me, it is. I haven't noticed anything according to Vincent Tio. He can see stars. I mean, really, dude, you know. Well, you're not going to see stars if you have a sun reflecting onto the lens here where the astronauts are that sun uh, that's beaming and it's reflecting it's not allowing them to see the stars now obviously if you are an astronaut and if you are behind the sun where it's beaming then you will be able to see the stars but again whatever you know that's that's his opinion uh like I said, if you feel that this local dimming might be crushing something, you can always adjust it. You can always move the brightness up, but there's nothing being crushed here. This is amazing, man. This looks amazing. I'll give you another example. I'll give you yet another example. Let's not use this. Let me uh, try a different example. Let's move away from this. Let me try another example as well. And you guys remember this one, right? And look at this one. Perfect. Perfect. You know, for an LCD television, uh, this is really, this is like as, as good as you're going to get uh, in terms of uh, LCD, LED backlit. It's as good as you're going to get. And here's another good one. This is the one with the uh, fireworks. Uh, this one really looks great, man. Not only are you getting a really good deep dark levels, but you're also getting that peak brightness and the color accuracy. And that's something to think about, guys. Believe me, this looks gazillion times better in person. You know, uh, it's really hard for you to, to truly appreciate this looking at it through the camera. You can't really appreciate this looking through a camera. You have to see this in person to truly appreciate just how beautiful this looks. Remember, this is pitch black, total darkness here, 
It's an LCD television with LED backlit, and uh, you're not going to, I'm telling you, you're not going to find anything better than what Samsung has done this year with their local dimming and their color accuracy with quantum dots and, of course, the peak brightness. Look at this peak brightness. Even my light exposure on the camera is depicting it. That's how good it is. That looks great. And this is a good one too. This is the fireplace, the one where you have the fireplace. I mean, just look just how beautifully that's, it's almost like you're there. It feels as if almost like I'm there. Just look how beautifully that's being represented. Look at the color accuracy and look at the, uh, the deep dark levels. This is me in the pitch black. I'm sitting here in the pitch black and what my camera is doing right now, it's not even depicting what I'm seeing. It's impossible for my camera to depict to what my two own eyes, retinas are seeing. You'll just have to take my word that for an LCD, for an LCD TV that's LED backlit, this is a really, really well balanced TV. And there's a reason why I keep telling DJ and others, uh, he knows who he is, DJ. Uh, there's a reason why both me and him, we agree that... And even, who else? Uh, quantum Poteosis. There's a reason why we agree that this is a really well-balanced TV. It's not a perfect TV. There's no perfect TV. Okay, if you're out there shopping for a perfect TV, uh, I have a breaking news for you. There are none. They don't exist. They don't exist, okay? Let me repeat that one more time. They don't exist. There is no monolith TV, holy grail TV. They don't exist. Uh, you have to find something that's balanced. And this is what Samsung is doing. It's giving you a balance between you gaming, having different options on the gaming, and then giving you the option to have a really good 4K HDR experience as well. When you're watching movies, your 4K HDR content. So that's why I call it a really well-balanced TV. When I do my review, my official review, I will explain as to why I call it a really well-balanced TV. And here's another good one. This is the, the Planet Earth. Uh, it's not called, it's the Planet Earth, but it's called just the Earth Planet. It's not Planet Earth 1 and 2, it's just the Earth Planet. Uh, it's a something different, different documentary. And uh, look how beautiful this looks, man. Perfect. Just simply perfect. Nothing's being crushed here. You can see everything clearly. Nothing's being crushed. Okay? You get to see everything the way it should be. Like even here, dude. Look at that. Perfect. And even here. Just look at this. Look, look at the deep dark levels. Look at the color accuracy. Uh, this is in Cape Canaveral, and then there's gonna they're gonna launch this uh, SpaceX, I think is what it is. Just look how beautiful that looks, dude. Again, my GoPro Hero 6 camera here can never depict to what my own two eyes are seeing. My own two retina eyes are seeing. Okay, it's really important that you guys remember that. All right, and you sure as hell with your video and your cell phone and your really bad connection, you're not going to be able to see exactly uh, what my own two eyes are seeing. It's just impossible for the camera lens to depict this. I'm just doing this to let you know that uh, Samsung Q8FN, it's a really, really well-balanced TV. And of course, if you can, can, if you can go a little extra mile and get yourself a Q9FN, that's even better. That's even better. This is not like OLED, pitch black, deep dark levels, but it's damn near good close to it, is what I'm trying to say, for an LCD LED backlit. So what I want to say in closing here, guys, uh, look, I have tons, tons of videos 
I've been doing this for four years. I tested everything from OLED, from edge lit, Q lit, uh, IPS panels, projectors, monitors, you name it, man. I have I've tested all of it. I have videos to prove that. And I'm going to tell you right now, this Thanksgiving, this Christmas. Look, if you want to buy an OLED, buy an OLED, get that warranty. But just remember, there's that risk, that high potential risk of you getting that burn in. And then you got to wait two weeks, three weeks till they replace it, send you another one. Then you're without a TV for three weeks. Okay? Just so I told you so. It's your money. Do what you want, dude. I'm not here to tell you what to buy. I'm just here to give you some friendly advice. Take it or leave it, man. That's what this is about. Uh, why do I call Samsung Q8FN a really well-balanced TV? Why do I call Samsung Q8FN a well-balanced TV? Because that's exactly what it means. A well-balanced TV. Don't just take my word for it. Ask Quantum Apotheosis. Ask my friend DJ, ask everybody else who follows me, and they'll tell you the same thing. Is it a perfect TV? It is not. I never said it's a perfect TV. I never said it's a great TV. There's no such thing as a perfect TV. There's no such thing as a great TV. This is a well-balanced TV. For the gaming and for the 4K HDR, you can't go wrong, dude. Especially if you have Xbox One X. You can go wrong. So that's all I have for you guys. That's all I got to say here. Um, pitch black room, dude. Everything's pitch black. My other TV here, TCL, my computer here, everything's pitch black, dude. I'm like in total pitch black darkness here. All right. So there you have it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a good one, though.